When you start finding your own interpretation, at what point does it not become Giselle? And what makes it Giselle? I am a true believer that for any art form to continue to be relevant, the works have to be revisited, reinterpreted, re-edited. This is why I want to continue to look at the classical repertoire and reinterpret it, reinvigorate it, and give chances to the artists of today to look at it and, you know, break it apart and put it together in a most wonderful, surprising way. When we first had our first collaborators meeting, um, I could start to feel the weight, and the weight of history. So it's a lot more challenging, I have to say, for Akram. I don't really know what he's going to do. But still, the narrative has always been there, and it, it has, even the dance has been there, the choreography has been there, the music's been there. So, in a way, the collaborators and I were carrying that information and knowledge. You see a forest, and then you have to somehow find your path through the forest, and not the pathway that's been given to you, that's been kind of pounded down by the many choreographers and composers that have walked through that pathway. You have to find your own pathway, but still within the same forest. The beauty of these classics, uh, whether it's Giselle or Son Lake, is that the core theme uh, is timeless that even though it was specific to that time, it is still relevant today. That is also important for the narrative or the essence of Giselle or any classic to, to stay important and relevant to the next generation. It has to adapt, it has to evolve. Um, if it does not, it will only be something that you look into uh, a museum. I'm thrilled that he um, accepted the challenge. I have a feeling he had no idea what he was getting himself into, uh, but it's going to be fabulous. <laughs>